The president also eulogized Kabaka as a committed legislator, gifted debater and a progressive leader who used his skills as a lawyer to enrich legislative processes in Senate. Waipa Party leader Kalonzo Musioka and former Machako Senator Johnston Mudama eulogized Senator Kabaka as an approachable leader who took keen interest in transforming the lives of the people of Machakos County and Kenyans at large. Naomba tu ni chukue wakati huu. Kwenye ugumu huu ambao ni wazi ni mgumu mzito, swala nzito hili, usema pole kwa jamii ya ndugu yetu Boniface Kabaka. Imekuwa ni njambo la kusikitisha sana, usikia kwamba kaka yetu wameaga. E, mimi ninajua ni mtu ambaye hamejuzisha na mambo ya uongozi sana. And uh, he tried to be a member of parliament for Masinga. I think twice he could not succeed, but at the end of the day, he became the, the, the senator of Machakos. Kitui Senator Enu Kwambua confirmed that the deceased died from a blood clot. About a month or so ago, uh, our colleague uh, had serious, serious headaches. For two consecutive days, he was nursing a serious headache, and um, he decided to come and, and, and seek uh, uh, medical attention, and he came here to Nairobi Hospital, um, where it was discovered that he had a clot, a blood clot. Deputy President William Ruto eulogized Senator Kabaka as a fine legal mind and a fighter of equal justice who contributed to the rule of law. On his part, former President Mwai Kibaki, in his condolence message, expressed sadness at learning of the news, saying he has known Nyaga's larger family for years. He further added that Joe demonstrated his aptitude as a consummate diplomat, a proficient captain of the corporate sector, a safe political mobilizer, and a community leader. ODM party leader Raila Odinga mourned Anyaga as a critical player in Kenya's affair who wore many hats in various fields such as corporate world, government, diplomacy as well as national politics. Busana Naman for Ebru TV.